Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. Whisper, Weak Signal Propagation Reporter, WSPR. What's it all about? You may have seen my first video about Whisper. That was to do with propagation. I was talking all about how to tell when a certain band is open to a certain part of the world. For example, 10 metres. Is it open to America? Whisper is really good for that. You can look on the Whisper net map and you can see where you're, where you're hearing, where you're transmitting to. 200 milliwatt Zactec transmitter. There's one, that's my one. 200 milliwatts and you can get all over America with it. If you're getting to America on 200 milliwatts on Whisper, you can be pretty sure that you're going to be OK on sideband with uh, a bit more power. So I've done all that video. What this one is about is aerials, checking and testing aerials with Whisper. It is an invaluable tool. This is the first time I've really used it for working out aerial problems. Now, in the past, one or two people have said, oh, it takes this bloke 10 minutes to get to the point on his videos. <laughs> well, if you haven't got 10 minutes to spare, then don't bother to watch the video. That's all I can say. No, seriously, I, I need to explain a little bit about it because otherwise you wonder what I'm talking about later on. So Whisper is you put out a weak signal. The Zactec transmitter is 200 milliwatts. I've been using the 7300, the IC7300, on about 5% because I'm on top band, which is the 160 meter amateur band. And I don't have a Zactec that goes down there. I've got a different model. So on top band, you need a big aerial, okay? I have a small garden, most of us have. Ideally, I want a half wave aerial, okay? Whether it be a dipole fed in the middle or end fed wire, it's 80 meters long. 80 is half of 160, as it we're talking about the 160 meter amateur band. So a half wave is 80 meters. That's 260 something feet. I can't fit that in. Could I fit in a quarter wave? A quarter of 160, that's 40 metres. That's 132 feet. I can't fit that in. My garden from the pavement right the way down to the back fence is 100 feet. So I can't even get a quarter wave in. Unless I dog leg it, I could try that possibly. So what can I fit in? 100 feet. Uh, what I've done, I've taken a wire out of here, goes along and then down by the side of the house. The wire is actually against, there's the wire, it's against the brickwork. This is a temporary aerial just to see what's going to happen. And it goes down to a pole, down the garden, a 10 foot pole. The whole wire is about 10 feet above the ground, which is what, three meters above the ground. Against the brickwork, most of it, <laughs> down to a 10 foot pole. A pretty useless aerial for top band. But that's a starting point. What I did went on Whisper, and for Whisper I used WSJTX. You can download that program and you can choose Whisper. So on there, unless you've got a Zactec transmitter, but on the Whisper program, use it on your PC. I think you can use it on a laptop or whatever. Use it on your PC as I've done. Connect it up to your radio and I can put out my Whisper signal. Now what it transmits is my location, my call sign, and you can see that come up on the Whisper Net screen. If you go to the Whisper, I'll give you the um, URL in a minute. You get the map up there. There's a map. Look, that is me sending out Whisper 5% on the 7300. And that's with what I call the brick wall aerial. <laughs> OK, the aerials against the brick wall. The whole thing is 10 feet above the ground. I took that screenshot of the map, the Whisper Net map, to compare it later on with another map. What I did, I made the area a bit higher. Tried to get it away from the brick wall without much success, but I made it a bit higher down the end of the garden. Here is the next map. Now, as you can see, look where I'm getting to. The UK stations, yes, but further down as well. Down to France, as you can see on the map there, and also Stuttgart. So Whisper has helped me change the area a little bit and I can see what I've done. Have I made it worse? Have I made it better? I've improved it, haven't I? Down to France and over to Stuttgart. An improvement. So on to the next improvement. The next improvement, or what I hoped was going to be an improvement, rip down that wire, get it away from the brick wall, get rid of all that. 
take a new wire out of the window here at the front of the house okay and along the gutter now I bought some little s hooks they're actually for holding up Christmas tree lights you know people put flashing lights all around the gutter the rain gutter of their house that sort of thing I bought a bag of those okay I didn't go up the ladder I can't do heights my uh, young wife did Trisha went up the ladder she's putting these little s clips on and running this wire along the front down the side of the house now bear in mind this isn't now 10 feet this is what getting off for 20 feet above the house 18 feet she ran the wire right the way down to the end from there I took it along uh, to a pole about 15 feet high and what was left of the reel of wire I didn't cut it off I just brought it down left it on the shed roof so it goes out of here along the gutter right the way down the side of the house along the gutter the outside of the rainwater gutter down the garden to a 15 foot pole I then went on whisper again same power on the 7300 5% TX power tried out the aerial this is the map have a look at that that's more like it what a vast improvement as I think you'll agree look at that I'm getting all over the place this was fantastic whisper is really helping me a friend of mine used to have great success on top band with a grounded loop there's a picture of it that's the idea so I did that the reel of wire on top of the shed I unwound that took it down to my earth system under the lawn in the back I've got an earth system a mat and earth rods and wires everywhere so I grounded the far end of the aerial so I've got effectively a grounded loop and I tried that now there's the picture again of the area okay so you can see what's going on I thought that would be worth a try so coming back up into the shack I had a look on whisper <laughs> here is the result there we are one station hearing me about 10 miles away <laughs> that obviously is not a good idea I had tried that years ago he was having so much success with it this friend of mine on top band I tried it I just couldn't get anywhere it just doesn't work for me I don't know why but again whisper is telling me exactly what's going on who is hearing me who isn't hearing me where they are it is it's just brilliant it's as I said it's an invaluable tool without whisper what would I do I would ground the aerial I would call CQ I don't know no one answering perhaps it'll be better tonight I don't know no one's there is it an improvement contact someone locally What's my S reading now? Oh, it was S this, it's now S that. Okay, because then we're talking about ground wave, not sky wave, if it's a chap mile or two away. So you can see how Whisper has helped me so much. Well, there's more, it's helped me even more. Hang on a minute, let's move on. By the way, those measurements on that grounded loop aerial, forget that, that's not what I did. Uh, that's, I forget why I drew that drawing, that was years ago. That was for something else I was experimenting with but that was just to give you an idea of what I'd done so along from here to the ground to the earth and then I've got the earth coming back up in here so it's effectively a grounded loop the next thing I tried with my reel of wire I didn't have it grounded anymore I took it back up to the house so it goes along here to the back of the house along the gutter down to a pole all right and then back up to the gutter the other side of the back of the house so you've got it coming in there and out there back up there I've now got about 150 feet of wire and I wonder what sort of improvement that would make that was a really good improvement up to Helsinki or above Helsinki in Finland have a look at the map there you go down to Florence Italy really starting to spread out and this isn't a night this is what early evening mid evening this isn't when the ionosphere kicks in at night this is before that so it's doing pretty well 5% power what's that? about 5 watts we'll say on the icon 7300 about 5 watts aerial now up to the gut about 150 feet long still far short of what it should be 260 something feet long but I'm making use of the space I've got with the help of whisper to see where to put the wire would it be better here is it better there there's the WSJTX screen just out of interest when you download the program 
switch to whisper. This was on 40 meters, in fact, I believe. Uh, you can see it types out there call signs that are hearing me, call signs that I'm hearing. Now, this is the other thing that what I've been talking about is where I'm getting to. I'm transmitting out to Finland, transmitting to Italy, to France, to Switzerland and all over the UK. What am I hearing, though? This is uh, this is the difficult part. My aerial is now as best I can get it for transmitting. Receiving wise, I've got terrible interference here, absolutely disastrous interference. And what it's doing is 20 over nine. The best I've got is five over S9, five dBs over nine. What it's doing is the AGC is kicking in, backing off the receiver again. So any weak signals are being backed off anyway by the receiver. You see what I mean? The more interference you've got, the more the AGC kicks in. So that is a problem. But I am hearing stations around the world, well, around Europe anyway. Have a look at this map here. You, if you click on a station, it says hearing G4 and SJ or heard by G4 and SJ. That's me, obviously. Heard by. So it's quite a good thing you can do. There, there it says there, you see, hearing. So I am hearing a station on that map there. That's a very useful feature. There's something else I did on our Isle of Wight holiday last year. I took a, a whisper, a little whisper transmitter with me, 200 milliwatts on 10 meters. And I was mobile, whisper mobile. It was on 24 hours a day for the week we were in the Isle of Wight. I left the aerial on the car. We're driving around all over the Isle of Wight. Really interesting on the map to see who's hearing me, who I'm hearing. Uh, mobile, fantastic. Of course, my friends back here, they could see where I was. And uh, on the map, it shows the square, the, you know, where you are, the maiden head locator and all that. That was an interesting exercise. I quite enjoyed that. Another useful thing is if you're just a shortwave listener, you're not transmitting, you can still use Whisper. All you need to do is get audio, obviously download the program, WSJTX. So you've got Whisper on that program. Take audio from your receiver into your computer, set that up. That way you are receiving Whisper stations, RF with your receiver, and you are sending out over the internet to the map uh, your information. So people can see what you are hearing you know, where, where they are, are you hearing me? And so that's what, it's just brilliant. It's such, as I say, it's such a good tool. Once you've done all this, once you've set up an aerial, and bear in mind, you can use it not just for top band. You might be working on a 10 meter aerial. You know, if I make this change, if I make that change, how's it going to be? Is it going to be better? Is it going to be worse? Plus, the results aren't quite live, but you can make you can get the result of your change in about 10 minutes. Look on your screen. OK, right. I've been heard there, there, there and there. Go and make the changes. Come back. You can set the time uh, to uh, 10 minutes, one hour, 24 hours. So just set it to 10 minutes and it'll only show you on the screen what it's picking up in the last 10 minutes. Wait 10 minutes. Then you can think, hang on, that station's gone. There was one there. I've lost Finland. Where's he gone? Oh, hang on, though. I've got some more down here. I've got new stations here. So you can see, not quite live, but almost live, your changes that you're making to your aerial, which is, it's just, it, well, it's fantastic. So when you finish playing around with your aerial and getting it just right, you can forget Whisper. You can go on to a digital program, whatever you want, Ritty or uh, Olivia. A JS8 is good, FT8, you can use it for any of that, or sideband, single sideband, AM, whatever you want. You, you've done your aerial. You've used Whisper, the invaluable tool to get your aerial as best you can in your location and the size of your garden. So now, I say on sideband, it should be pretty good all round, if you see what I mean. I, I'm going to use it a lot. I've, well, I've been using it a lot, actually. It's uh, it's something that I use almost daily to see what the band, different bands are like, the propagation. You know, how are we doing on 40 metres? How are we doing on 15 metres? What's that like at the moment? That's interesting. On Whisper, and I'm getting to America on 15 metres. That path's opened up. Give them a shout on sideband. 
you're more than likely get a reply. To get the WhisperNet map up on your screen, just type into Google or wherever WSPRNet, WSPRNET, it'll come up, click on that, there's the map. You can then fill in your details, uh, your locator square, your call sign and whatever. If you don't want to do any of that, you could just forget even receiving. Just look at the map online and it will show you stations. If you type in my call sign, for example, in the call sign box, G4NSJ, it will show, I'll choose the band, for example, say 40 metres. It will show you if I'm on 40 with Whisper, where I'm transmitting to, who I'm hearing, that sort of thing. So it's, uh, it's useful for everyone, you know, not just people with a licence, even if you haven't got a licence. Even if you haven't got a radio, <laughs> you can have a look at the map online, which is really useful. I've got a lot more information on my website, which is g4nsj.co.uk. Go there, www.g4nsj.co.uk. Go to the main menu, scroll down the page, there's Whisper, well, there's all sorts there, you'll have a look. And I think most of my videos, yeah, all my videos are on the website, all the YouTube videos, this one will go on there as well. So have a look at the website and there's more information there. And uh, there's also info about the Zactec transmitter, you know, a little 200 milliwatt transmitter. That's really good fun and very useful to have that. I've got two at the moment. I borrowed one from a friend. I've got one permanently on 10 metres and one permanently on 15 metres so I can see what those higher bands are doing. I think that's it for now. Have a look at the website. Loads of information on there, as I said. Um, not much else to say at the moment. Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video useful. Hope you find the website useful. And uh, I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching as always. 7-3 from the south coast of England. Bye-bye for now.